kill me, your life is over. Monet is dead because of you. No one's coming for us, you know that, right? Every time y'all do some shit and leave me out, it gets fucked up. Carter has something on you. What's up, with Lance, niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your man, friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power, Book 2 Ghost. And as you can see, this one is titled Diana Kills Anya or Effie. Yeah, I know that's kind of, you know, it, it's getting real out here. And, uh, they, but uh, judging by some of the things that I saw in this episode 10 trailer, I think there is a very high percent chance that she may take out a major character next episode. Because Diana is slowly but surely has developed into her mother, Monet. So, I will be covering all of the hints and the clues that I think that's leading to whoever this person may be, whether it's Anya or Effie, we can let y'all be the judge. Who will she take out and why? So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. Now, of course, in the introduction of Power Book 2 Ghost, we was introduced to uh, um, Diana Tejada. When she first met Tariq, she instantly took a liking to him and was immediately starting to crush on him. And, um, and what I'm going to be showing you here is that, that how Diana has a repeat of pattern, pattern of whenever something hurts her, she reacts. Kind of similar to Elfie, they both do the same thing. But I think the worse um, the, the situation is, the more traumatizing it is, the bigger the situation is of you know how how of how she reacts, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Remember this here. This is also from season one. Diana, at this point, she was a little upset that she thought Tariq had Lauren up in the room and was smashing her when, you know, she had a big crush on him. So she took matters in her own hands and was planning to tell Monet about the course correct situation and ultimately get, you know, um, get Tariq taken out of the business as retaliation because of her being in her damn business. So that is the very first one, but as we know, Monet ended up liking the um, liking the operation that Tariq was running and kept it afloat. Now, next, the next big traumatizing situation for Diana that was the death of her father, Lorenzo. Of course, you know, Lorenzo was killed by none other than Gordo and had his, his throat sliced. But it wasn't until later on down the line in episode 10 that Diana was able to figure out that it was none other than her mother, Monet, who was responsible. And what did she do? She colluded with her brother, Drew, who was also very upset with the death of their father. Not only because, you know, it was his father, but the fact that Monet used his boyfriend to do the killing and had him kill his own boyfriend. 
So it was pretty messed up. Monet was in the head for that. No question about it. But the point is, after the death of that, we all know what Diana did. She set up, uh, you know, ahead to have Tariq kill their mother. Now, even though we all know she later on felt differently about it and regretted that she did it, the point is, is that out of frustration of losing someone she loved, she retaliated. Now, we go ahead and get to the next one. As we know, she had a conflict, major conflict, with the dirty cop, Felicia Lewis. Felicia ended up getting angry with her because she didn't go to take out Zion like she told her, which was stupid. She was going to go get that, little, get that girl killed trying to deal with somebody as big and as powerful as Zion. But, you know, she they ended up getting into a fight, and of course, Felicia stomped her down, causing her to lose her baby. And what did she do after that? She took Felicia out and committed her very first murder. She smashed her face in with an iron skillet. So, we all know what the latest one is. Last episode, in a very sad matter, Noma took out uh, their, her beloved mother, and you know, she died in front of all three of them. Now, like I said, I just showed y'all a couple of incidents of how Diana reacted each time she lost someone or something that was dear to her. So, you've seen what she did to Felicia Lewis. You've seen what she tried to do to her own mother. The only difference is the first one, she, you know, she had someone else do it, but the last one, she did it herself. Diana has been catching bodies ever since she took out Felicia, if you pay attention. So, she doesn't, she's not the fragile little girl that she was the first three seasons. She's willing to put a bullet in you now. So, with that being said, we gotta move on to the next image. Now, as you can see here, this here was kind of shocking. Because if you see in the trailer, Diana is pointing at the fence. And pointing through this, uh, what is it, this doorway at someone. Well, obviously, we can't see who it is. But if you pay attention and you look at Kane's facial expression behind it, you can see that Diana is taking a shot. And then pay attention. Pay attention to what's behind him. That is the mansion that the ugly ass niggas that was shooting at them from at the top. Hold on real quick. Now, as you can see, look at the design of the stairway where these glad niggas are at. This is unquestionably Noma's men. I can guarantee you. These are Noma's people. Look at the, you see the stairway, I mean the doorway that Noma, that Diana is shooting through. It's the exact same place. And you can also see the mansion that's behind it. So, who do we know was up inside of that mansion? And who could she potentially be shooting with? I'm going to go ahead and give you my first prediction. And I can guarantee you this one is probably who it is. It is none other than Miss Anya Coverton. And the reason why... It's because she is the daughter of the woman who took her mother. I can guarantee you, I, this one right here, I'll be willing to bet anyone that, that Diana, now what I can't guarantee is whether or not she's going to shoot her. Or not. But I guarantee you, she's going to take some shots at her. 
Look at Kane's reaction. And then, like I said, it's clearly the same place. And you see Anya here in the car. It looks like it's being driving away. Uh, like they're driving away with, uh, with Tariq has her in the car. So, we also get later on a image of we see in the trailer Tariq saying D where were you thinking and I believe what was going on in this particular situation is this is the aftermath of after the shots maybe Tariq was in the facility as well or maybe it's just Tariq was getting on her for like why are you shooting at her you know what I'm saying and I can guarantee you Diana is going to tell her you, if you really think I'm going to let the, the daughter of the woman who murdered my mother get away, then you're sadly mistaken. Diana's going to transform. She's not the same little girl. She is becoming her mother. And you can see, I bet you Kane was even shot down. Wow, he is really, you know what I'm saying? She's really becoming Monet. It is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And like, um, this scene very much reminds me of another parallel, which is this one. This reminds me a lot of the scene when episode, this is a, this is season five, episode eight, when the same time period during the death of Canaan, right? When Tasha uh, set up something with Tariq to have Canaan arrested, and you know, Ghost was like, what were you thinking, Tosh? He was getting very upset. It reminds me, I believe it, it pretty much, I saw the same thing. Tariq wondering what the heck, um, what the heck um, Tasha, I mean, Diana was thinking, and Ghost was wondering what the world Tasha was thinking. They're literally having the same story, except, you know, Except they're just a, the younger generation now. And I have to go ahead and get to the other one who I think, I mean, even though, because Anya could just get shot at, but let's say she doesn't get hit and she survives. But we, I have to also put this in mind as well. Diana is on demon time right now. So is it possible that she could possibly run, up, run into Effie and every right before she thinks she's scot free and getting ready to head to Stansfield to California, Diana sees her and puts a bullet in her. Let's keep in mind, she probably hasn't forgotten the words that Effie told her in this scene here. Effie told her that with those two as the parents, that baby is screwed. And just off that, she may remember it. And since she's already in her feelings and angry, she could take out Effie. Now, I think, I don't know how, how I feel about, you know, how strong of a possibility I think this one could happen. But I will say this. I believe that one of them has to go. Between, I'm going to say this, between the trio of... Diana, Anya, and Effie. One of them has to go this next episode. Because I think it's just not enough room or enough story for all three of them. It's enough for two of them, but not three. Let me tell you why. So, um, obviously, Tariq has to have someone beside it on his side. Now, I, I was having hope and thinking that it was a possibility that him and Effie could end up connecting. But it's seeming like, to me, that it's more than likely her, her and Kane will probably have a thing. But hey, you just never know. It could do a 360 if that still happens. But, also, you have Anya and Diana, right? So, with that being said, um, one of them has to be with, you know what I'm saying, 
if Kane, I'm gonna say this, if Kane, we did see he got shot in the trailer, and some believe he's gonna get taken out. If he does indeed get taken out, then maybe Effie will go. Because, you know, let's say, let's say, it, I think it depends on who Tariq ends up with. Whoever you see Tariq bonding with that this next episode, they're, they're more than likely is good. So that would mean the other two are on the hot seat. But I just can't see because someone's going to be the eyeball out. Think about this. Um, if, let's say Tariq goes with Anya. If Tariq is with Anya, that means Effie, if she's not with Kane, she's the eyeball. But, but more than likely, she will be with Kay. And then that leaves Diana with no one. And I just can't see them, how her not having a storyline, you know, not having nobody. So, could she potentially get taken out? But what I think is more than likely is that judging by the interview that she had, that she said by the end of it, if they wanted to bring her character back, they could. So in my opinion, I think Diana's just going to get arrested, but not taken out. So by that, I, judging simply off that interview, I believe Diana is safe. Leaving it between Effie and Anya. If, Kane, if Effie's not going with Anya, then... You know what I'm saying? She might be. I mean, with Kane, she's probably out of here. I would. I don't. I would hate to see it, but you know, every time somebody is trying to do something to get away from the life, it never ends well for them. So it could be scary hours for Effie. She could be out of here. And or it's, let's say Effie might get caught up by by no one. If no one take out Effie and Monet, bro, I promise y'all I'm going to be so mad. Her death better be a very terrible one if uh, that happens. I'm going to tell you right now. But anyways, um, um, with Anya, like I said, if Tariq stays with, with Diana, I think Anya doesn't have a storyline. So, she has to go. So, Pretty much, I mean, that's all I have as far as this particular video. But definitely, I would love to to hear y'all thoughts on this. I'm definitely, you know, waiting on it. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Who do you think of the trio could potentially be out in it? Now, like I said, in my opinion, I believe Diana is safe. And it's also possible that she may take out one of the remaining two. And if that is the case, which one do you guys think will go? Let me know in these comments. But, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your bad friends. But until the next video, I'm out.